Imagine a country that imports waste from other nations, where its citizens don't hesitate to wear old clothes and return bottles for recycling. It sounds like a terrifying scenario, doesn't it? And if you have already imagined a forgotten third world country, you're mistaken. This is Sweden, one of the wealthiest countries in Europe, which has become an absolute champion in waste management. Today, you will learn how Sweden turns trash into gold. Enjoy watching. Cleanliness is not where people clean, but where they don't litter. But in the case of the Swedes, it's clean where they repair, share, and recycle. Only 1%. That's how much waste ends up in Swedish landfills. According to the Swedish Waste Management Association, Sweden currently recycles more than 99% of household waste. The recycling system works so well that almost every developed country concerned about its own ecology follows its example. Why does this system work? It all started in the 1970s. Sweden, with its harsh climate and complete dependence on natural gas supplies, decided to fundamentally change its energy situation. Specialists calculated that every Swede generated about one and a half kilograms of waste per day. Considering that four tons of household waste compensate for the use of one ton of oil, logic led the Swedes to the only right decision. The country became seriously involved in waste recycling. The secret of the Swedes was that while in some countries, this practice remained within the framework of an ecological experiment, the Swedes approached it with all seriousness and practicality. Since 2002, it has been prohibited in Sweden to dump what can be used for energy production into landfills. Even the industry operates on waste. Swedish garbage trucks run on biogas or electricity generated from waste. Waste to energy plants, operating on the waste to energy technology, replace nuclear power plants for the Swedes. On average, such plants produce about 17 terawatt hours of energy per year. This energy is sufficient to heat a significant part of Sweden's territory. While conventional thermal power stations require coal for such plants, waste is the raw material that costs practically nothing. Waste disposal provides 20% of the heat in Swedish homes. Swedes even accept garbage from other countries, attracting it for free, for example, from Norway. Neighbors are happy to get rid of trash, and for Swedes, it's an energy resource. Waste incineration plants receive $43 per ton of waste. For instance, in 2014, Sweden accepted 2.3 million tons of garbage from Norway, Ireland, and the United Kingdom. Besides the raw material for heat and energy, Sweden earned a profit of almost $100 million. Swedes themselves admit that burning waste is not the ideal solution. Creating a new item from scratch uses much more energy than recycling. Moreover, burning waste emits carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases, which greatly concerns some environmental activists. Therefore, the population is encouraged to sort and recycle garbage in every way possible. Sorting stations are conveniently located throughout the country in supermarkets, municipal facilities, and the subway. Currently, Sweden recycles 48% of household waste. The rest goes to waste to energy plants. For example, fibers and paper are recycled up to seven times. Plastic is recycled and used for new products up to seven times as well. Waste recycling has opened new opportunities for businesses. Somebody sells lead obtained from batteries. Someone turns tires into fiber for artificial turf, and others transform old newspapers into eco-friendly scoops for cleaning up after dogs and cats. Moreover, Sweden produces the most electronic waste in the European Union, about 200,000 tons annually. Since 2014, all retail electronic sellers in the country are required to accept broken and obsolete devices for recycling through an exchange program. When you buy a new computer, you have the right to simultaneously return the old one and receive a discount. Additionally, the government encourages Swedes to repair household appliances, shoes, bicycles, reducing the corporate income tax by half the cost of services. Swedes were encouraged to engage in conscious sorting through a system of fines, educational initiatives, and active social advertising. In many Swedish kindergartens, children learn to make garden compost from potato peels and other food waste. Recycling is a separate subject in the curriculum next to physical education and music. Furthermore, sharing services are actively developing where people jointly use various items instead of purchasing them from cars and housing to skis and bicycles. It has even reached the point where an entire new genre of commercials appeared in Sweden, Panamera, which translates from Swedish as recycle more. The bright, ecologically clean future in Sweden is what's known as the circular economy. We weren't lying when we said Swedes turn trash into gold. They are making serious money from it. 
The classic approach or linear production is when we take resources from the environment and return them back but in the form of waste in landfills. Circular economy hopes to turn this straight line into a circle to recycle all or almost all waste, to use this raw material again for producing items or energy, and so on indefinitely as long as it remains feasible. Does the rest of the world share a similar approach? It's hard to say, but leading nations try to adopt the experience of the Swedes. In Japan, for example, they learned how to build islands from plastic. An artificial island Odaiba in Tokyo Bay was created from compressed garbage, and on its territory, there are already parks, factories, an airport, and an elite residential complex. The land of the rising sun approaches internal environmental issues no less scrupulously, and now everything from sportswear to carpets is produced from recycled materials there. However, many countries are far from a zero-waste Swedish lifestyle. To achieve this at the very least, there would be a need to reconsider relationships with plastic bags. Refusing to take them at the checkout in a store even for free means a change in consciousness. Discover your inner Swede and next time you go shopping, take a reusable bag instead of a plastic one. In most Swedish households, there is a large box under the sink, containing a minimum of four compartments. Swedes sort their garbage according to the principle we already know. Organic waste, glass, metal, plastic, and hazardous waste, batteries, light bulbs, and so on are thrown out separately. Everything is put into regular trash bags, except for organic waste. It is collected in special paper bags, which can be obtained for free at any grocery store. Each household has its own small sorting station, where Swedes sort the garbage into containers before it is taken for recycling or disposal. Typically, this is a small building, accessible only to the residents of the associated house. Sometimes the containers are also placed on the streets, but most of them are concentrated in designated rooms. In Sweden, there is no color coding of containers. They are mostly dark green. Nevertheless, each bin is labeled and provides short information on what can and cannot be thrown in a particular bin. Besides household sorting stations, Sweden has also introduced vacuum waste collection systems. These are special waste chutes where anyone can dispose of sorted waste. A large percentage of Swedes take environmental conservation seriously and conscientiously sort every bit of waste both at home and at work. However, even in Sweden, not everyone separates their garbage. Some find it more convenient to put everything in one bag. And that's okay, because waste sorting in this country is not mandatory and does not carry any penalties or fines. But the results speak for themselves. If almost 100% of waste finds a second life, people still make an effort to sort their garbage because otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to recycle it. We have someone to look up to as Sweden truly sets an excellent example for all countries. How do you feel about sorting waste and do you apply these methods at home? Share your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you later.